Here is a quick overview of the container integration feature in Visual Studio. I have a simple web API project with Swagger integration. I'll go ahead and run this app. Copy the URL. See that it just exposes a hello world. Uh, Swagger is already enabled for this project. So let's see the API. Go ahead and add Redis cache to this particular project. So I double click on the connected services. I click plus and search for Redis. I pick the default for the container name, image, and the port mappings. For the connection string name, I'm going to select uh, Redis connection string. I pick the defaults. And if you notice here, once the uh, container is set up, it, it automatically goes ahead and uh, runs the Redis container here. For the detailed logs, you can go and look under the service dependency node. Uh, let me open the program CS. Let's add a little bit of sample code to use this Redis cache. So I have uh, the cache um, I'm using the cache connection to get the cache. There is a key called execution count. Um, it reads the key, increments it, and displays the result here. So I'll go ahead and build this app right now. The build is successful. I'll go ahead and run it. Okay, so if I refresh the app here, you'll see that there is this new endpoint count that's available. If I click on the count, try it out, execute. We should see that the execution count is one. I can also hit the endpoint directly. So the execution count is one and the Redis cache is running. So I'm gonna stop this app here. Uh, run this again. Refresh it. Now the count should increase to two. The same thing should happen if I run it multiple times. Execution count is three. Uh, let me show you how to manage the life cycle of this container. Um, one of the options for maintaining the life cycle is you can right click on the connected services. You can say stop local dependencies. So notice the uh, status of the container here. So it is exited. I can right click, say start local dependency. So it will run. Another way is uh, you can just close the solution. So you'll see that uh, it is exited right now. If you open the solution, Visual Studio knows that this project requires Redis cache, so it will automatically start the container for you. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, run this app again. Now, even though we started and stopped a few times, it should still retain the count, so um, now it should increase to four. So this shows the, uh, the new container integration feature in Visual Studio. Uh, please send us your feedback. Thanks for watching.